In this exercise two tutorial, I'm gonna be taking you through how to do a wide grip Smith machine bench press. I'm gonna be going through not only how to execute the exercise, but also how to set up the Smith machine as well. So for me, I've got clients of all different shapes and sizes. The taller and bigger wingspan clients I have typically prefer a wide style grip when they're doing the Smith machine. I also find that power lifters will prefer the wide grip version as well. The difference between the wide and medium grip is medium grip would be wrists just outside my shoulders, whereas wide grip is even further than that. Of course, when you're doing the wide grip, there is more chest and a little bit less tricep than the medium grip. Now, for all of my clients of different shapes and sizes, how would I know as a trainer how to set all this up? So firstly, I'm gonna put the bench in the middle of the Smith machine. Once I've done that, I wanna make sure the bar is just short of a full arm extension. So what that means is, if you're laying down on the bench and you bring your arms straight, you want the bar to be just before that. You don't wanna be bringing your shoulders forward, reaching for that bar when you do your first rep. Start off with no weight on the bar when you're trying to get your position right. The last thing you wanna do is be in a wrong position with loads of weight on. When you come all the way back, make sure one, you don't hit your head on the bar. I'm gonna bring my shoulders back. I'm gonna unlock the bar by bringing my wrists forwards. And from this position, when I come down, notice how this is in the wrong position. This is in line with kind of the very bottom of my neck. I know I need to bring myself up a little bit on the bench because I want this barbell to be in the middle of my chest. So think of nipple line. Of course, for the wide grip, I'm gonna be really wide, pinky finger on the end of the mesh or knurling, and I'm gonna come down and back up, breathing in on the way down and out on the way up. Bring the bar down nice and slow, breathing in and out on the way up. Now, when I hook the bar, I'm bringing my wrists back, and something you'll notice there is when I'm bringing the barbell down, I'm bringing it to these yellow safety stops. Now, this is really important because if I've got a client that trains on their own, they're putting a weight on the bar maybe that they've never done before, what we don't want is we don't want them to come down and bring themselves into a position that they can't then push up from and they get the barbell stuck on their chest. So using the safeties means that the bar's gonna stop just short of my chest on the safeties rather than on my chest. And that way I can slide the bench back and get out of that position should I need to. So if this is set up already, make sure that one, it's not too high so you've got your range of motion. If someone's been on it before and they've put these on, you might get a sudden shock when you come down if they're already on. If you're doing light weights, then of course you wanna utilize that full range of motion. When you start to do heavier weights, if you can get this just above your chest, it means that you've got that security when you do really heavy exercise and heavy bench press, that if it all goes wrong and you can't push from that position, you can slide yourself under the bar or push the bench back to get out of position. That's how to do the wide grip bench press and how to do it on a Smith machine.